All right, what do we have here? I have a mad comic, number one, that I'd like you to take a look at. That's pretty damn cool. I was hoping you'd think that. Have you ever read it? Comic books aren't really my thing. I was more interested in the mad art. It's cool. I mean, it's just really full of that, you know, preteen boy silly humor. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe you didn't read this. I'm not a boy, so uh, maybe that explains it. <laughs> I am selling this Mad Comic issue number one because it was purchased as part of a collection and the comic itself was not what I was really interested in. I'm hoping to get $2,500 for this comic. I would use that money to purchase uh, other pieces of art that I'm interested in. This is extremely cool. Rarely am I in awe of something. I had a subscription to Mad Magazine when I was a kid and this is Mad Comic. This isn't even Mad Magazine. It's neat that it's a comic because eventually it turned into a magazine format because in the 50s, uh, the government was like getting all weird about comic books and you know, that they were screwing up kids' minds. Magazines weren't scrutinized the way comics were. Exactly. When it was first released, Mad was more than a comic book. It was a satire on current events. It wasn't afraid to get really close to the edge, just like today. I'm assuming you want to sell this. Yes. How much you want for it? I'm asking 2,500. Okay. I have no idea if that's a good price. Um, I, I know they go for good money. I know. Right, um, and I feel like this is in very good condition. And if you're a mad collector, you want to have mad number one. I actually have a friend who grades these things. Do you mind if I call him and get him down here? No, that sounds great. Okay. Hang out a few minutes. I'll be right back. I'm fine with an expert coming in because I'm just as curious to find out what the grade of this particular comic would be. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, well, it's mad comic. That's the weird thing. I, uh, I've never seen one this old. At issue 23, they become the magazine. They were trying to get away from the comics code. So the comic book code authority, was that like a government regulation or? Yeah. Dr. Frederick Wortham, he was on this witch hunt saying that comic books were destroying America's youth. Wortham had this huge Senate hearing and the Comics Code Authority got instituted. The publisher of MAD changed it to a magazine format so they could skirt the Comics Code Authority. So what do you think? Oh, that was very nice. Got some fingerprints on the back. And the interior front cover also. Cover's a little bit tanning. You have some creases here along the spine. A little tanning on the pages looks a little cream. Here, let me take a look at that black. It's a beautiful looking book. So grade wise, it's a... On a scale of one to 10, it's around a 6.5 or a seven. I mean, what do you think it's worth? I would put the value at about $2,000. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Anytime, Rick. This would be a great buy for the shop if Rick can get this for a good price. It'll sell quickly. So what's your best price? $2,000. Uh, well, there's nothing in it for me at $2,000. I have to make money off it. OK. So let me give you $1,300 for it. I would say $1,800. There's no money in it for me that. I can give you 1400 Anything after that, it doesn't make sense. The lowest I can go is 1500 If you change your mind, give me a call. OK. Thanks. Thank you very much. I wasn't able to sell the comic today, but I will go home. I'll put it online. And I'm confident that I will get a price of $1,500 or better.